Hi everyone, welcome to 2019. Another fantastic year ahead of us. The weather's fantastic here in Perth, a little bit blowy, so apologies for the wind noise. I've got some resolutions for this year. Hopefully you've planned out yours as well. For mine, it's pretty simple. I wanna get more into the uh, autonomous database kind of stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a geek like most people watching this video would be. I like getting in there and installing stuff myself. I like playing with various versions on my laptop. After all, that's how we answer most of the Ask Tom questions. We have local copies of as many versions of the Oracle database as we can fit on our machines before they run out of space. But the reality is I'm struggling to find time for that kind of stuff nowadays. I just need to be able to jump on, type in a connect string and bang, I'm on a database. If I want to crank up something to lots of CPUs, obviously the laptop doesn't do that. So this year I'm going to work on doing as many demos and stuff just connecting directly to our autonomous database really just for my benefit, just so it's quick and it's simple. Now there's lots of features in Autonomous that'll be very cool, but I'm not focusing on them. I thought this video, I'd just show you how easy it is just to download a connect string, set it up, and you're off and running. So let's show you how you can connect to an Autonomous database in probably less than 30 seconds. So, how do we get a connection to an Autonomous database? It's actually pretty easy. All you really have to do is start off with uh, logging on to your service console and then click on the database you've created. Mine's C McDonald 2, it's the second autonomous one I've created. Then all you need to do is click on the DB connection button and a dialog pops up and you can see that you've got some connection strings and you've also got a download for a wallet or a zip file. Now, if you're using SQL Developer, all you have to do is click on download and that entire zip file is then straight away used in SQL Developer. We'll show you that in a second, but we can just download the zip file and save that away somewhere. Or if you're planning on using a particular connection string, a particular service name, you can just show or grab one of those connection names and stick it in your clipboard and then you're pretty much off and running as well. So I've downloaded that wallet zip file. Let's fire up SQL Developer and we'll see how it works with SQL Developer. All you need to do is choose a new connection and you can see now that in the connection type, there's a new entry called Cloud Wallet and you can simply choose that. And then it's just a case of browsing for the zip file you've downloaded, type it in and immediately you get access to all the service names for your autonomous database straight out of there. So you can simply choose the one you want and you connect and you're off and running. It's that simple. If you're not using SQL Developer, what you can do is that wallop zip file is actually just a zip of the standard secure configuration files you would use for any secure connection to a database. So if we double click on it, you can see it's actually got the normal wallet entries plus sequinet.ora and tnsnames.ora as well. So you can simply copy that lot into your standard Oracle Home Network admin area and then you're good to go. Now I can fire up, for example, SQL Plus and you can see that just with the normal connection string and the service name that came from that wallet, I'm good to go as well. It really is that easy to connect to the autonomous database in the cloud. So that's really all there is to it. Just if you're using SQL Developer, download a zip file, you're off and running. If you're using one of the other drivers, then it's just a case of unzipping that file and you're still just off and running. It's download, connect, done. So when people say the future is autonomous, you'll hear that from Oracle people all the time this year. For me, it's not really the fact that it's autonomous, it's the fact that the future is easy. That's what I like about it. So enjoy the autonomous database, enjoy connecting. I'll see you hopefully at a conference somewhere this year throughout the world. Take it easy.